Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can easily set up a meeting using the free online tool Meetomatic. So first of all go to your internet browser and type in Meetomatic.com Obviously it's coming up in my browser already. This will show you um, the, the home page of Meetomatic. Now it's really, really easy to set up a meeting. You don't need to um, sign in or um, create an account or anything like that. Simply enter the name of your meeting. Um, so I'm just going to call it Committee Meeting. There we go. And you need to put in your email um, so that you can receive email responses. So I'm going to put hello at Teach Me Tech. And then you'll see you're presented with a calendar so that you can choose the dates um, that are available for the meeting. And all you do is select the appropriate dates. So say Monday the 15th, Wednesday the 17th, Friday the 19th. If you want to be able to specify morning or afternoon, simply click the AM PM box and you'll see that you can fine tune it. So if you only wanted the afternoon of the 15th, you can just tick that box. If you're available all day on the Wednesday, then that's fine, you can leave those ticked. If you put in a few more selections, then that's all you need to do. Then you just simply hit go and it'll give you a link um, that you can then send to all the people that you want to invite to the meeting. It will also email you, so if I go to my email program you can see I've been sent a couple of new messages. So let's go over to email. The first message is from Meetomatic. I'm the organiser of the meeting so it's just confirming that I've set up a meeting. This is the link that I can use to invite people to the meeting and this is the link that I can use to check on the progress of the meeting. Um, so when people have responded, their responses will be recorded there. There's another message which I can simply forward to everybody that I want to invite and that lists all the available dates for the meeting. And this is the link that they need to click to respond. So let's assume that I'm somebody that's been invited to the meeting and I want to respond. I just click on this link, type in my name, so Anne. Um, you can leave a comment if you want, so you could say, um, hope to be able to make it, or you could specify anything in there. And then you can see the options that I selected earlier as the meeting organiser have popped up. So let's say I can't do the Monday, um, or the Wednesday, but perhaps I'm available any time on the Friday and any time on the following Friday. And then I just save the response. And that will happen for each of the people that you sent that link to. So if I now go back to my original email, I can check on the responses here by clicking this link. And it will show me that Anne has responded. And she obviously can't do the Monday or the Wednesday, but she can do these Fridays. And you can collect as many responses as you want, so I could send that link to another person. So let's just pretend um, that another person has sent, has responded. Let's say that Fred has responded. And let's say he can do Friday the 19th and Wednesday the 24th. So again, he'll save his response. And I, as the meeting organiser, will be able to see the responses. I'll just close that and go back in here. If I go back to my original email, remember that this is the link um, that shows me which responses I've received. So if I click that, you can now see that Anne and Fred have both responded. And they've obviously got some overlapping times that they can do. Friday the 19th looks like the best time. Obviously only Fred can do that Wednesday and only Anne can do that Friday. So it will automatically show you the best day to hold your meeting. And at the moment that's looking like the Friday the 19th. And that's it. That's as easy as it can be. Remember that if you want any lessons on using any websites like this or any tools or software, then do book your lessons at www.teachmetech.co.uk.